Donald and Lee Darby. And he was last seen yesterday evening at the local teen hangout called The Rally. Emily's 5 foot 3 with blonde hair and blue eyes. Police are appealing to the public for any information. Officer, please. Is this really necessary? My daughter's a good girl. She's told you everything she knows. Mrs. Bethel, this is just routine. There could be the smallest detail you've forgotten about or maybe didn't think was important that could lead us straight to Emily. Can I stay? I've watched those TV shows. You might trust everything she says. Yeah, of course. Right. Sarah, according to your original statement, you left Emily at the rally around two nights ago at 8 o'clock, is that right? Yeah, like 8 or 8.30. And did anyone see you leave? I can vouch that Sarah got home around 9 o'clock. Mrs. Bethnal, I really need Sarah to answer the questions, okay? Sarah. Me and Kate, we left in that bar. We said goodbye to Emily, and then you guys showed up a couple of days ago asking questions about her. I didn't even know she was missing until you told me, and now it's two days later and you're asking questions again. Why aren't you looking for her? I don't even know why I'm in a police station. We need to help the police find Emily. Her parents are so worried about her. I've visited them and I've prayed for them too. I don't know what I would do if it was my server. I didn't see her after 8 o'clock. And did you call or text her after you said goodbye? Well, yeah, loads. We both did. But she was meeting this guy that she met on Facebook and like we wanted to know what had happened, but she didn't reply. Maybe he took her. Do you know his name? Um, like Joe or Joey. She didn't say much about him, just they met on Facebook and she probably had an accident now. Did Emily show you a picture of him? Like once, but it was ages ago and he was wearing a tap on the but he had brown eyes and a lip kitchen and I think he was in college or sixth form. I hate lip pitters. I was with this guy was and he had a lip pitter and I was like, you know him. Anyway, Emily was like in love or whatever. And maybe it's like that guy who met three girls through Facebook and they all met up with him separately and was all dating him. But it turned out he was like a girl and a trick them all. And they had sex and everything, but she was using like a dildo and me. That happened again and Emily's just high with him she's like so embarrassed. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably leave the country. <laughs> Did you call or text Emily after you said goodbye? Yeah, like a bit. Couldn't want to see what happened to her. Like she was meeting that guy, like I said. And did Emily mention her last name at all? I think it was Brooks. I can't remember. I'm so worried about Emily, I can't think properly. Can I go out for a fact? Not just yet. Look, Kate, are you and Emily good friends? Yeah, of course. <laughs>
Look at what, babe? Yeah, slow. Slow like what? Have you even your fingers yet? Kate, don't be disgusting. Oh, you haven't even been fing up for 15. Oh, what's wrong with you? Shut up! Okay, before you've at least been felt up. Well, maybe I've done anti simple, maybe I just don't want to tell you. Or, maybe, you're just waiting for the right person. between yourself, Kate, Emily, Barry, and some friends. My number between Emily and Joe Brooks. Can you explain that? Well, I don't know why that is, do I? It's her Facebook page, not mine. Plus, she has to delete things. So, uh, there's a time to be silent and a time to speak. You don't know why she deleted things off Facebook. Sorry, Martin. It's just he was older. Like, I think, I mean, he was, but like, Look, I just know that she was worried that her parents might find out, so she deleted things off her Facebook. Officer, please, you have a name. He must have taken her. This is definitely what I can assure you we're following all the relevant needs in this case, okay? Well, you're sitting here wasting time with us, but you should be out there trying to find Emily and this man. My daughter's terrified that something's happened, and you are making things worse. The sooner you answer the questions, the sooner you can leave. Sarah, how much older? A couple of years. Uh, she said he'd left school and was working. Working where? A shop in town. What shop? Um, a Foot Locker. She said he worked at Foot Locker. And did Emily speak to John on the phone? Yeah, no, they were always texting, but she wouldn't have him down in her phone as Joe. She had a nickname for him. Which one? I can't remember, like Babe or something. Can I go now? I said all this the other night. I'm supposed to be meeting my boyfriend in a bit, and he's like, "Come on, worrying about me." Right, okay. <laughs> so where is it that Joe works then? I think he's still at college. What college? Kate, is there anything about Joe you do know? Just like Emily said, she was meeting him that night, and now she's missing. <laughs> Can you explain why I can't find any call or text from, from you or Sarah after you both say you called and texted after 8 o'clock yesterday? No. Like, why would I know that? I mean, according to Kate's statement, Joe's still at college and doesn't have a job. Well, Kate gets confused about things sometimes. Look, Emily said he worked at Foot Locker. Emily was meeting him that night at the rally and she's probably with him now. He must have taken her. She was expelled from a previous school for drinking and fighting. I never wanted her and Sarah to be friends. But God says we must open our hearts to see us. Oh, Mum, stop it. I think you Sarah. Remember, honour thy mother. Sorry, Mum. You don't get on with Kate then, Mrs. Bethel. Kate is a little wild. She doesn't like to play by the rules. Sarah was raised differently. Oh, Mum, for God's sake! You will not take the Saviour's name in vain! <laughs> <laughs> Not really, Mum. I'm sorry. Look, we left Sarah, we left Emily at the rally and they must have seen us there because she was right there with us. And she was with you the whole night? She arrived with us and we left and she stayed. So why did you leave? She was meeting that guy to freeze a crowd. 
We've spoken to everyone at the rally that night. Not one person remembers seeing her during the course of the evening. Not one person other than yourself or Sarah. Can you explain that, Eva? Well, they must have seen us. Look, I don't know where Emily is and I really want to go home now. Can you even keep me in here like this? Don't you need my mum or my dad? See, you're 16, Kate, and you are just here as a witness. But, if you like, we can wait for your parents and they can listen to everything we say. Everything? Am I in trouble? Not just yet. Out of Sarah and Emily, who would you say you're closest to? <laughs> what? Why? Well, three best friends. Like you said, three's a crowd. I'm a little bit closer to Sarah, but I'm still my mate. Stranger. 
Tony, can I go now? We recovered Emily's phone this morning and we were able to unlock it. We couldn't find any calls or texts from you or Kate after you both say you called in text after 8 o'clock yesterday. Can you explain that? Well, I don't know. Look, she was worried her parents might find out, so she probably deleted the messages on her phone like she did on her Facebook. It would appear that Emily had a love secret secret that she hasn't shared with Sarah. I think it's time to like Whoa, 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 Mr. Bethel. Everything Sarah's telling us is extremely useful to the investigation now. I do apologise if I'm coming across as hard, but we are trying to find a missing girl here. A girl you've known for over 10 years. Now, if Sarah was missing, wouldn't you want everything possible done to find her? Of course. I'm sorry. You're such a sweet, lovely girl. Now, Sarah, let's talk about you, Kate, and Emily. Who would you say you're closest to? I'm close to both of them the same. Mm -hmm. You've known Emily a lot longer than Kate. I mean, you and her have been friends since you were five or six. <coughs> Kate only really became part of their little group when she joined their school about two years ago. We were <coughs> all my daughter's friends, officer. As a parent, we must make sure our children have good relationships with good and responsible peers. <laughs> Emily's a joy. Kate Hallett was a little wild. <laughs> and ever so used to please their flesh with a weak destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Bethel, uh, maybe you'd like to get a cup of tea. Thank you. I'm, I'm close to work with that, but Kate can just be more fun sometimes. It's not that Emily isn't, it's just, she's just her own person, you know? <clears throat> yeah, she can be a little bit wild, but not in a bad way. She just, she doesn't care what people think. And she's so it's brave. Uh, it's enough. Sorry, um, I, just, I just meant that I'm close to both of them, but in different ways. I'm just saying that you two are always going on without me. No, we're really not. You're like totally imagining things, there. Right? No, I'm not. You've got all these in-jokes now, all these secrets. Don't tell me. God's got so power. Oh, you yeah. like them more than me. You always want to hang out with him instead. Emma, that is not true. You're my best friend. But you tell Kate everything. You never tell me anything. I'm just getting left all the time. Oh, look, listen. It's just that she's a little bit older, okay? She's the same age as you. Just because of me. I mean, mentally. Like, she knows things, okay? Sometimes I'm going to speak to someone who's been there, right? And you can't keep a secret to save your life. Been where? Well, I can give you advice. I can keep your secret. I don't have secrets. Em, listen. Sometimes I can talk to Kate about the boys and stuff. But you never talk about boys ever. It's weird. I you do to Kate. Oh, fine then. Well, Kate can be your best mate. I'll just fuck off then, shall I? Where were you before you arrived at the rally? 
get ready at my wife. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Do you go to those lobbies? No, like, why are you asking me anyway? Because we have a witness who called about a young girl matching your description who was leaving those lobbies yesterday. According to this witness, the young girl had blood on the top of her jeans. That's what made him call. Can you explain that? <laughs> well, it wasn't me. I was getting ready at mine. Oh, Sarah, she was with me. I wasn't even near those allotments. No, I want to leave now. This is bullshit. I went there. I don't know anything. But I know you took her. <laughs> Look, Emily made me promise not to tell anyone, but she was pregnant and Joe was the dad. That night, she was meeting him to say that she was going to keep it. And I tried to talk her out of it, but she wanted to see him on his on her own. And I, I should have stayed. I, if I'd known, I would have stayed. But she wanted to be with him alone. This is you've got to find Joe. <coughs>
things have been deleted that they can still be recovered. I mean, we found a, a really interesting picture you and Kate kissing. <laughs> can you explain that? I don't, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> that, that's not real. Mom, Mom, please, please. That's not real. You've got to believe me. I'm going to throw the shop Are you in a relationship with Kate? No. <laughs> Did. What if I'm gay? 
with you are, you are. Say what? Who can find out by my mom? Oh my god! Is it okay? You're okay, it's fine. Yeah, you can
you'll see. <laughs> so I'll the lines here. There'll be consequences. Do you really want your mother to suffer consequences for just trying to help you? I won't tell them, I promise. Do you swear? Do you swear on God? Well, it's where we've got, Mum. Yeah. Okay. I should go home. Things have to be normal. Go to church. It's going to be you and your sins. Things have to be normal. As I say, we do it now. <coughs> No, look, it's done now, okay? No! Listen, we just need to bury Emily and everything will be okay. No! Listen! Look, everything has to be normal, okay? Yes! Just meet me at the back of the allotment, now! Please, may I have a moment with my daughter? Thank you. We can bury her here. No one will find her. 
Sarah Bethlehem and Kate Willis, you have been found guilty of murder. You lured your best friend to a deserted location with the intent to cause harm. You attacked and beat Emily Dobby, then as she lay beaten and helpless on the ground, you strangled her. No one strangled her! Why do you keep saying that? You will remain quiet during your sentencing. You strangled her in a sustained and violent attack before burying her in a shallow grave. This is Order in court! You then lied about your involvement, leading the police on a wild goose chase, attempting to implicate anyone but yourself. This court sentences you to 25 years in prison, and you will be reminded of Her Majesty's pleasure to a juvenile facility until you are 21, where you will then be transferred to prison to serve out the remainder of your sentences. Court dismissed. so hard to raise the right, to show them the right path, to teach them faith. Sometimes I get lost along the way. I raise my children to know right from wrong, to follow the Bible. I told them if they strayed from God's path, there would be consequences. Dealing out retribution to those who do know not God and do not follow the Bible and the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ they will pay the penalty of eternal damnation away from the presence of the Lord and the glory of his power. Thessalonians, verse 1, chapter 8 to 9. So we straight far away. Now she's exactly where she belongs. Please just let me take care. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. 
loves me this I know. The Bible tells me love. Little ones who give me love, they are weak as he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Yes. 